Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Melissa Souza, and I am the Senior Wellness Coordinator in the Athletics and Recreation Department. And today we are doing our live, and it's based on our topic of the day for our Wellness Week. So we're on day two um, of Wellness Week, and today's topic is mental wellness. So today I kind of wanted to do a little mental health check-in. Um, we did a quiz as a post today, but I kind of wanted to borrow a quiz from our friends over at CMHA and um, kind of run through with everybody to kind of do a little check-in on ourselves, see how we're doing, see how we're feeling in um, five specific areas um, that I think that are super important for us to have balance in our well-being and um, to make sure that we're thriving in all areas of our lives. So again, this was, um, it's a mental health meter that's borrowed from CMHA, which is our Canadian Mental Health Association. So um, I'm excited to um, run through this quiz with you. So what you'll need to do this is a pen and a paper, and um, we'll go through the five categories. And within each category, we're gonna write the words agree and disagree, and we'll just tally when I ask you, the, when I make a statement, you're gonna agree or disagree with this statement, if um, how you're feeling, and then we'll tally them up at the end within each category. So I'm gonna talk about the categories that we're gonna do um, today, again, for our mental health uh, meter. And the categories are our ability to enjoy life, uh, our resilience, our balance, our self-actualization, and our flexibility. So. Um, let's grab our pen and paper and we'll go through each category and we'll ask the questions. Um, to, we'll basically go through them for ourselves um, and agree or disagree again. So let's start off with our category ability to enjoy life. So again, write that down on a piece of paper. Um, you can short form it to one, even the first category and then write agree and disagree and then we'll tally them up um, together. So. I'm gonna make a statement here and you're gonna agree or disagree. I tend to live in the moment and appreciate the now. Do you agree or disagree? I often dwell on past experiences and daydream about different outcomes. Agree or disagree? I recognize that some things can't be changed. Agree or disagree? My feelings of happiness are often overshadowed by worry about the future. Again, agree or disagree. So each one is gonna be agree or disagree. My home is a comfortable, pleasant place. I think that's an important one, actually. I, uh, I think that our spaces and the, what we create in our space um, is super important to our well-being. I worry a lot about my friends and family. Do you agree or disagree? So we'll tally them up at the end to see what kind of score we get, okay? Let's go into our second category of our mental health meter, which is resilience. So how resilient are we? Um, one of the um, examples that they gave was that due to changes in the marketplace, um, you are suddenly laid off from a job you love. You are shocked and angry, but those emotions fade quickly as you put the event into perspective and you gather solid references, revamp your resume and begin your job search. So that's resiliency. That's just an example of resiliency. So how resilient are we? I'm going to read out um, our statements and you're going to agree or disagree. So um, either uh, make yourself a title there with that um, for resilience or just label it number two. So topic two, resilience. When life gets tough, I retreat from friends and family. When I'm under serious stress, I can't lead a normal life. I believe that I can learn from difficult times. So again, tally under agree or disagree to each statement. I, excuse me, after an emotional upheaval, it makes me feel guilty to feel happy. I exercise regularly and eat right, even when life gets busy or stressful. I have a great support network. 
So that would be anybody that you feel like supports you um, when times get tough, when you need to talk to somebody. It can be family, it can be friends. Um, your support system could even be your dog sometimes. So um, if you have a great support network, you would agree in that category. So let's move on to three, um, our category number three out of five, and it is balance. So um, as an example, an old friend confronts you saying you never have time for him. You are taken aback and give excuses of overwork. Then you look at, at it from their point of view and realize you've been letting that relationship and other personal interests slide. You make a commitment to restore the balance. So balance between work, play, um, our well-being, um, doing the things that we love um, and doing the things that we have to. So finding that balance um, where we can feel well, where every day feels like a proper balanced um, uh, mental well-being. Um, and that's what we're checking here is our mental health meter. So let's head to balance. That will be our category number three here in our mental health meter. Again, you're going to agree or disagree with the following statements about balance in our lives. There aren't enough hours in the day to accomplish everything I want to do. Agree or disagree? I always make time for my hobbies. My friends often complain that they never see me. If life is a juggling act, then I think I'm a pretty good juggler. I practice a relaxation technique regularly. So something like meditation, um, maybe even taking a walk, um, whatever relaxes you. Focusing on work will get me where I want to be. So that's our category number three, um, balance. So we'll move on to category number four out of five. Um, and category four is self-actualization. So again, I'm gonna read out their example. Um, while working full-time at an un, um, undemanding job, you take a night course in a field that has always intrigued you. You realize your talents and interests lie with this other area. You consult your teacher for advice and begin pursuing a new career path. Doesn't that sound lovely? Um, so that's their example of self-actualization. Self and let's ask, um, and we'll ask ourselves here whether we agree or disagree with the following statements in that category. Compliments make me uncomfortable. I have good self-esteem. When people say I have positive qualities, I have trouble believing what they are saying. I know what my strengths are and I work to develop them. I feel I am reaching my potential. Taking chances is risky, but it's worth the risk. Agree or disagree? So that was our fourth category. We're gonna move on to our fifth and final category, which is flexibility. So let's read through what our mental health meter on CMHA, our friends here, um, say about flexibility. The love of your life has walked out. You are devastated and feel like all your plans for the future have been ruined. After grieving for a time, you begin to see that your expectations of the relationship and of your partner were unrealistic. Gradually, you reconsider what you want and expect from a partner. So basically, it sounds like you live and you learn. Flexibility. So grab your pen and paper again, and we're going to either agree or disagree with the following statements. I don't always know what to expect from people. My problems are usually caused by other people. Life is smoother when I keep my emotions level at all times. I accept things the way they are even if I don't like them. I'm often frustrated when other people don't share my point of view. I cope well with change. So we've completed all of our five categories. Now I ask you to tally up each category. So one, two, three, four, five, or ability to enjoy life, resilience, balance, self-actualization, and flexibility. 
So tally up your agrees and your disagrees. And then we'll go through here and talk about our scores. So ability to enjoy life. If you scored less than three points, your enjoyment of life is being diminished by anxiety and worry. Some of your concerns are based on real problems, but many are what ifs and maybes. If you scored three to six points, your ability to, to enjoy life is good to excellent. The higher your score, the stronger your capability to live in the moment and accept that there are some things you cannot predict or change. So is this an area that you may need to do a little work on or um, dig a little deeper um, to figure out what works for you and what doesn't? Depends on your score, maybe a little helpful. Let's move on to our resilience. So number two, category two, if you scored less than three points, your resilience may be too low. You isolate yourself during tough times and the lack of support and other perspectives means you tend to stay focused on the negative. If you scored three to six points, your resilience is good to excellent. The higher your score, the more strongly you feel that even though life can be full of tough times, it's important to keep your perspective, which is great. Um, is this an area that maybe you need to work on? Again, um, depends on if some of these um, questions and some of the answers that you gave may be eye-opening for you. Um, I know that it was for me, especially in this topic right there in resilience. Um, it's definitely an area that I could uh, do a little personal work on. Balance. If you scored less than three points, your life is a little out of balance. Whether it's work, family, or personal interests, one or more aspects of your life are being neglected. If you score between three to six points, your life is fair to a good degree of balance. Um, and the stronger your realization is that there are many facets to your life that are important to you and that deserving, you are deserving, excuse me, of your, they are deserving of your interest and attention, which is true, right? That's how we gain and achieve balance is figuring out what those things are that we need to accomplish, as well as those things that we want to accomplish, the things that um, make us feel really good, the things that um, our hobbies and our, um, our friends and, and hanging out with um, people that we love, people that support us, um, finding the balance, that's, that's the importance there. So how balanced are you? Self-actualization. If you scored less than three points, you're lacking in self-esteem. Self you tend not to trust other people's good opinions of, your, of you and your abilities and talents nor do you feel that you could truly make more of your life. If you scored three to six points, you have a good to high degree of self-actualization. The higher your score, the more you are able to value your own unique strengths and potential and work to develop them to enhance your life. Um, and finally, flexibility. So how flexible were you in this category? If you scored less than three points, you're not as flexible as you could be in your opinions or expectations. This rigidity can create a strong sense of frustration. If you scored three to six points, you have a fair to good level of flexibility and the higher you score, the stronger your belief that change is a fact of life and that seeing things from other points of view help you adapt to change and make the most of your life and the people in it. So how did you do? Um, I know that for me, I had a few categories here where I did get less than three points and I was um, happy to know that um, those are areas that I could actually now kind of hone in on. Um, I know when we talk about well-being, at least for me, um, it's such a vast word, wellness and well-being and um, what does it mean? You know, and for me, I think really what it boils down to is balance. Balance is a big part of this. Um, how are we feeling? Um, when we do a check-in like we are doing right now, how do we feel? Um, are we happy most of the time? Are we feeling down most of the time? Um, and how are we in the balance of all of these really important areas? So again, this mental health check was um, basically brought in um, by our Canadian Mental Health Association or CMHA, um, and it is their mental health check. And again, I want everybody to know that um, as a disclaimer, this was um, and is not um, meant to substitute for professional advice. 
Um, if you do feel like after you've taken this or you're feeling like before, maybe this was a trigger, um, please head on over to the CMHA website. Um, they have some uh, great qualified healthcare professionals um, that um, are readily available apparently, um, because I know that in this, in the world of mental health, sometimes it's hard for us to get help, especially during these days. I think that a lot of people are struggling and um, I'm hoping that um, those that we're reaching are not one of those people. And if you are, again, please head on over to CMHA um, and, and see what you can find out. There's so many good reads that I found that have um, actually helped me again, um, where I was able to hone in on what little areas I need to work on personally. And I hope that if you, after this quiz, found that there was some things that you needed to kind of work on, um, that you find the answers that you need there. They have some amazing resources there. Um, again, this is day two of our wellness week. So um, our mental health day is kind of coming to a wrap, a close, if you will. Um, we had a meditation uh, class earlier that was great. Um, and um, we hope that you enjoy the rest of the week. Coming up tomorrow on our day three of wellness week is nutritional wellness. So we've got a great lineup for you. You can head on over to any of our recreation Instagram pages um, to get the full lineup there. You can also head on over to our website. And if you click on fall um, programming, you will find um, our wellness week lineup on there and links to any of our classes and other cool things that are coming up. So we hope to see you at some more of these. Um, please take good care and be well.